just, uh, I just thank God the uh, the officers of this club showed up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's receiving a call, and I don't want to. I did, I did a lecture about uh, two years ago at the uh, at University of Michigan. It was a, it was a lecture for uh, a future design conference. If you go to our website, uh, you can see I've already collectively started doing advertisement for my college. Uh, if you go to our website, you can see it. Um, that's me. Uh, the, I, I mention that now only because I had left my iPhone on the, on the thing when I was giving a lecture and I kept getting these calls and it kept screwing up the, the, the lecture and it was, it was a kind of a YouTube uh, recording thing and it was, uh, so if you look at that website, if you look at that video, you'll see it. Um, okay, uh, you know, uh, I have been in the College of Design. We uh, are uh, a college, uh, we have a school of architecture, we have a school of interior design, and we have a historic preservation program. Um, we started out actually in the College of Engineering uh, more than 50 years ago. We were kind of an offshoot. It was the College of Architecture for about 50 years, but initially came out of the College of Engineering. And then about six years ago, the College of Design was formed. Um, from architecture, interior design, and historic preservation. We're currently working on uh, some new uh, undergraduate programs, uh, undergraduate design degrees like product design, uh, industrial uh, graphic, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, just I'm really, I'm very happy to be here tonight. We, uh, um, I feel like almost every project we've worked on in the College of Design since I've been here, and I've been here now, uh, about uh, at least the beginning of my fourth year, we've done with, uh, with the Center for Applied Energy Research, we've done literally, I mean, if you start spinning through the images in our projects, I would say you know, half of them uh, have been partnered or we've partnered with, uh, with the Center for Applied Energy Research. So I'm really uh, was very happy to be asked to come, and, uh, to come and talk tonight. But anyway, this is our website. Take a look at it sometime. Uh, what I want to do, I don't really have anything I hope very provocative to say tonight. What I do want to do, however, is to show you some of the work that we've done uh, with, uh, the, with CAER uh, and to some extent with the College of Engineering and, uh, and the College of Agriculture. Um, let me start with, a, with a, one little quick image. These are uh, these are cufflinks. I, I start almost every lecture with these cufflinks because if I show these cufflinks within the first, I can completely screw the lecture up for the first 30 minutes because people don't hear anything I say because they're thinking, how can I get some of those cufflinks? <laughs> so they, so they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't hear anything I'm saying, they're saying, cufflinks. So I show the cufflinks to begin with just as a diversion so that you don't really hear anything I say initially. But they do have a connection to the CAER. They're, the cufflinks are made from fly ash, um, and they are, uh, they're, they're part of a range of design products that we created kind of in conjunction with CAER. Um, and weirdly enough, the one of the first of these we did, uh, you can't really see it on this slide, but um, a, a little bubble popped up exactly uh, where Henderson, Kentucky would be, which is where we were doing our original project. So it's, it's almost kind of magical uh, and alchemical and all that stuff. Um, but it was, it, it, anyway, so we have these. Uh, if you haven't heard anything I've said, we, if you really want some, we can get you, okay, we can hook you up with some links. Um, and, uh, and, uh, well, the other, the other interesting thing about them uh, is typically colleges of design don't like colleges of engineering. Vice versa. Um, and I think it's partly because of a view that design has historically and even now has of itself, uh, which is that design just makes pretty stuff. We just make I we just make iPods, right? And you guys do all the algorithms to make the iTunes software. Uh, of course, without the iTunes software, we don't. iPod is irrelevant. The beautiful object is irrelevant. Um, uh, but I think, you know, we. we have, since we came from the College of Engineering initially, um, we 
we have really made a return and are working much more closely, I think, with the college of engineers. Not just uh, with say CAER, but um, with college in general. So we're very happy uh, to work with the college of engineers. I, I show this also because um, uh, this was made using some technology we bought in the last couple of years. We're a very poor college, we're a very small college, but we are a very cool college. Uh, we have the best dean uh, of <laughs> all the colleges, uh, we have the best students of all the colleges, and we have the best faculty of all the best colleges. We wear the best, look, look at these shoes. You see, you won't see many deans wearing shoes with gold tips on them. So we're, we're a cool college. But uh, these shoes actually uh, were made with a laser cutter. Uh, these, these are, these are um, Alexander McQueen. I don't know if you follow fashion, uh, but we follow fashion at the college. So. And these are all, all those little holes and things are cut with a laser cutter. Uh, so are, so are these little shapes of the state of Kentucky. This one of the things we've done in the last four or five years is buy a lot of new technology, especially digital uh, output technology, fabrication technology. We bought a lot of uh, CNC, we bought a couple of CNC machines, we bought a bunch of 3D printers, uh, we bought uh, several uh, laser cutters. In fact, um, I think the solar car that everybody thinks was designed by the college this year was mostly cut out. These pieces were cut out in our poor little college uh, with our no money, and we bought three machines, which you guys love, our three so we're, awesome. we're happy to do. We're happy to do. Like, well, anyway, um, so this kind of weaves together a number of things. Commonwealth, uh, fly ash, and uh, a kind of a technology application that we've been, that we've been very excited by. I'm going to come back to this idea of digital fabrication because in the end, there is, so there is something very, very important about design education uh, and about the way designers think. Um, that that co that really is behind the title of my talk, which is Design Plus Energy Equals Innovation. And it, <coughs> it really has to do with two things that are fundamental to design education. I'm going to talk about them in, in some more detail later. But one of them is working uh, in teams, and the other is prototype thinking. Thinking, really thinking through and using prototypes. Um, I'll, get, I'll, but I'll get back to that later. I'm just going to show a lot of pictures. We like pictures in my college. We like images. Uh, I know you guys like numbers. Um, but we like pictures. I'm going to show pictures. Um, it's just a, uh, we have been involved in design and energy projects really from the day I got here, uh, which is, as I said, four years ago. We, we worked with CAER a lot, the Center for Manufacturing. It used to be called, I don't know what it's called now, it exists anymore. The college of Engineering, College of Agricultural Journalism. Um, this is just a text that basically says we are very interested in energy. We are, we are of course, interested in sustainability. But sustainability, in my view, and a lot of people's view, is, is a somewhat limiting, uh, let's say, category. Energy is a much more expansive category, and we, we choose to say that we're interested in energy, and that sustainability is part of that, not the other way around. Um, this is a, a, a piece I did, and, and my talk is the, the content. If I say anything meaningful, you, you would, if you read your own, uh, if you read the CAER newsletter, you would have already read it, uh, because it's, it, it, I published a little piece, I guess, when was it, last year, um, in, uh, how do you say this? This must be some fancy, see that, inner day up or something like that. Um, it's a very cool magazine. Uh, but I wrote a piece really about how we had collaborated with the College of Engineering, College of Agriculture, College of, College of Communications, and College of Design to design, uh, uh, build, and drag to DC the Soda Catalan House. 